Wix website for photographers tutorial. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we easily set up our own website if we are a photographer and we want to get clients through website, how can we show our works and so on. So here we are on wix.com and in order to get started just simply click on get started right up here. If you are new to this platform you'll have to create an account, you can easily do it with your Gmail and after that we'll come to this page, um, our dashboard and in order to create a new website we need to click on create new site in the right top corner right up here. So after that um, Wix will ask us uh, like what would we like to create, what kind of website are you creating and here we can choose a portfolio if we want to show our works and uh, we can find some detailed stuff photography portfolio for example. Of course we can create like website about us but I think that photography portfolio is the most suitable theme um, like uh, according to the name of this video. So let it be like uh, website one two three photo. Next uh, basically this name doesn't matter it's just only to be shown on our dashboard among all the websites. Here we can click on skip and in a few seconds we'll come to this page where we need to click on begin with the template. So we'll start from choosing a template, we'll customize in the future and here we can find a lot of different templates according our topic. Uh, we can find a lot of different like even pages, uh, tons, tons of different templates we can use to create our uh, photographer website. And let's say that I would like to use this one, wildlife uh, photographer. We can see how will it look like as for us. And it looks really, really good, nothing like hard. We have this menu here where we can find home, portfolio, bio, projects, store and blog. Let's say uh, we'd like to check our portfolio to see like uh, what uh, photos do we have. So yeah, okay, let it be like this. I think it's pretty cool. I suggest you to see other templates. I'm going to click on edit this site to start working with my website directly. So here on this page, um, it may take a little time until everything will be uploaded because um, sometimes um, Wix servers are under huge capacity and probably we have some internet connection trouble. So it may take like 10 or 20 seconds. Uh, once more depends on their server's capacity and we'll come to this page as you can see this is our editor and here we can add different stuff so of course we need to customize every single object inside of the website uh, so firstly we need to manage our structure so go to pages and menu in the left side menu and here we can find all the um, all the pages we have home, portfolio, bio, project, store and so on. So firstly let's say that I wouldn't want bio, I'm going to delete it. I also don't need like store stuff, delete, uninstall and I suggest you to delete unnecessary things. Of course you can let them stay but it's like more things we need to customize. So I'm going also to delete my blog page let it be deleted and we now only have a portfolio and also we have a project. So in order to interact with them we need to select the necessary one. Let's say that we want to interact with a home page. By the way you can also add a page by clicking on the bottom of the screen on this button here. We can add about page, service, projects, contacts and so on. You can even create a blank page and after that just simply customize it as you need. But I recommend you to add uh, sections, not like pages, but sections. So we can click on add section right up here and we can add like a small part on a page, for example, about us or about our team, like this, yeah. So uh, we can easily delete sections, we can move them up, move them down to change order and every single section on Wix website contains different elements. So here we have like this text, this text, this button here. So how can we interact with them? Basically, in order to interact, we just simply need to click on the necessary element. Now we can choose different actions. Edit text, create AI text, link, animate and do some other stuff. The same thing with this like image. We need to click on change column background and after that we'll be able to change it, for example, to this 
photo directly. So yeah, let it be like this, for example. And in this case, we can uh, change this text. We can delete it if it's like unnecessary as for us. Also, we can add new elements by simply clicking on add elements button right up here. We can add text, images, button, strips, decorative box, gallery, and so on. Huge amounts of different things we can add. Let's say that I want to add new button and let it be like this. We can change the size and we can replace it. So as you can see, all the things are quite easy to understand. How does it work? And uh, after that, um, what's really interesting uh, that we can customize a wall um, text uh, font group and also we can change color palette. In order to do it, we need to go to side design and here choose color theme, change color theme. And I recommend you to do it because sometimes you find cool templates, but you need to change a lot. So in order to make it faster, I recommend you to use this feature and also we can change text theme, go to change text theme and let it be like this, for example. So now we are ready to launch our website. Of course, I suggest you to customize every single stuff. We need to click on publish in the right top and in a few seconds, our website will be published to the internet and we can even share the link. So let's click on publish once more. And in a few seconds, so we can see the link, we can share it, we can click on view site to see how will it look like as for us. And as you can see, all changes were successfully added to like, what did we do? Everything is right up here. So now we can go to our dashboard, we can go to dashboard. And uh, from this page here, we can manage uh, the most important thing that we can manage our portfolio. So let's open photo album and here go to my album. After that, uh, we'll be able to interact with what's inside. We can create new album and do some other stuff. And also we can go to portfolio and open projects. So here we can find like randomly generated projects by weeks and we need to edit them. We can click on edits and then just change all the details or we can click on delete and then just simply add a new project by simply clicking on this button here. If you want to find more in-depth tutorials about Wix, I recommend you to see my other tutorials there in this uh, playlist. You can see it right up now. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and link to the subscribing and also like this video. And if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I hope guys this video made your life a little bit easier and I wish you a very, very good day and goodbye guys.